you know, we've got a great pond. The fish are doing fantastic and we have a lot of fun here, but the water level is down probably four feet now. And it's not nearly as pretty as it could be if it was full. Um, plus it's just, you know, frustrating for things to not work the way that they're supposed to work. So we're hoping that we can fix that. So we are up here at the pond. We got our treatment that we're going to give to the pond to try and seal it up. Came in today at about 5.30 and I had actually just finished getting the pump and the hoses and everything set up and ready. So I decided it's a nice still water day, which is what I wanted. I wanted to spray this out there when the water was gonna be pretty still so it didn't all blow to one side or the other and I can control the application. So we're just gonna go ahead and see if the pump works like it's supposed to, then we'll go ahead and open the stuff up and, and we'll pump it in there and see how it all works out. Just to uh, give you a little bit of a rundown on the pond, you know, if you've been following it, you pretty well know these things, but uh, our water level drops about a half inch a day and it has since the pond was dug pretty much. We'd kind of hoped that it would silt in and stop, but uh, it's been right out a year. It's still losing water steadily. So uh, we decided it was time to uh, try one of the treatments that can be done when the water is still in the pond and there are fish in it. That kind of limits what you can do. So that's what this product is made for. This product is designed to stop seepage. So if you have a hole or if you have open rock crevices that water is seeping through, it will not stop that. So we're hoping our problem is seepage. I don't know, it, you know, no leakage around the dam or anything like that. So I don't think we have a hole. So I think there's a possibility this will work. Now, the other thing is, is this stuff is pretty expensive. So I ordered really about half of the recommended treatment. Now, the way they recommend application, they say do half of a treatment. And if that helps, then go ahead with a full treatment and that should stop your seepage. This is kind of a trial run, a little bit of an expensive trial run. Um, I bought what was between seven and $800 worth of product that we're gonna put in it tonight. So. We're really hoping that this works because, you know, I, I hate to just spray money into the pond and uh, it sink to the bottom and do nothing to help. It's worth a shot because, you know, we've got a great pond. The fish are doing fantastic and we have a lot of fun here, but the water level is down probably four feet now. That it's, it's not nearly as pretty as it could be if it was full. Plus it's just, you know, frustrating for things to not work the way that they're supposed to work. So we're hoping that we can fix that. Um, I'll kind of give you just a, a little view of, of what you can see in the pond here and then we'll get the pump set up and we'll get started putting this stuff out. Now even that great big rock pile right there is always completely underwater when it's full. And of course you can see my overflow pipes up there. It looks like it's down further than it is because of the angle of the dam. Um, that pipe stand is about 30 inches. Um, the, the pipe where the pipe goes into the dirt is down 30 inches. And then it's down probably another foot from that. So uh, we're, you know, at three and a half to four feet of water loss right now. We will, once we get this all pumped in there, we'll probably take some sticks and stick at the water level edge. And uh, that way we can monitor and see how it's doing, whether it slows it down. Now, I think it's supposed to take up to a week for it to all settle to the bottom and start sealing it up. So we may not see an immediate help, but hopefully within a week or so, we'll start to see some improvement on our water loss. Uh, the other thing that this stuff is designed for is water clarity. So it'll be interesting to see what that does to it as well. Heavy. 
hose here. All right, now we're gonna fire this pump up and see if we can get it primed and pumping correctly first because we really haven't tested this pump well. It, the motor runs good, but we haven't pumped much water with it yet. Every single time I've ever started this, it started on one pull. Well, in my excitement, I forgot that this thing, thing has a kill switch over here. So, she starts on one pull, and I knew that. Hours of trying to get the pump to prime, we figured out that the seals must be bad in it. So we gave up for the day, went back and ordered some new seals, and uh, so now I'm putting the new pump seals in, and we'll give it another go. fill it with water. You barely keep it at the end. Because the end of the hose. Just leave that little hose laying there, bud. I know. I'm, oh, already coming.
Here's what it looks like. I went ahead and turned it down just a little bit. I want to make sure it's diluted plenty because this stuff will coat the gills of the fish and kill them if, if it's too strong. And we don't want that to happen. I've got the valve just about a third open. You can see it's just pumping it real slow. The pump mixes it up real good before it puts it out in the water. I'll tell you a little bit about our struggles while this is working because it's going to take a while. I'm pumping this stuff in pretty slow. We may be a couple hours pumping this in or longer. I don't know. I'm going to really take my time with it. I want to protect my fish. But uh, so we come up here about a week ago and set up our pump and tried to get it primed. We had everything with us and we had our, you know, uh, DB110 that we were going to pump in there and we were all excited and ready to go. And uh, the pump wouldn't prime. I. Uh, I was pretty confident because I bought it used on eBay or, or a Facebook marketplace. Um, I was pretty confident that the seals were probably bad in it. So um, if you look online for these little Honda trash pumps, if you buy a genuine Honda seal, they're like a hundred bucks. Um, the cheapest I found a genuine one was $70. And you could order the cheap uh, Chinese part off of eBay for 12 bucks. Um, so it took it a week to get here. It got here today. I had the pump already apart and ready to go. So slapped that seal in there. Took about five minutes. Um, brought it up here without the DB110. Set everything back up and it primed right away. Um, started pulling water and it's pumping real good. So we're good to go there. Um, so we had to take the tractor back down, load up the DB110 and come up and start pumping it in. But uh, it's a uh, I'm really excited about this. I mean, as you can see, you know, the pond's lost a lot of water and it's down, getting close to four feet now. And uh, we've got some rain coming in the next couple days, probably not heavy rain, so I don't know that it will, will come up. But we get this stuff pumped in there and we'll give it a week to settle to the bottom. I'm hoping to see the water level stop dropping. And then as we get rains, it should fill back up and hold it. That's our hope. Um, now, like I mentioned before, this is only really about a half a treatment. And they say you should see uh, evidence that it's working after a half a treatment. And if, it, if you do, then you should be safe in going ahead and putting a whole treatment in and uh, that should stop your seepage. So that's kind of what we're going for. If we see progress, then we'll go ahead and order the other two uh, jugs of the stuff that we need and we'll pump it in there. Um, the other thing is you don't want to overdo it when you put this stuff in. Um, that's why you've got to pump it through a trash pump like this is to make sure that it's diluted enough that it won't coat the gills of your fish and kill them. Um, and that's a big concern of mine. Not only did we spend a lot of money on these fish, but they've got uh, eight months worth of growth on them now. Um, so they're a long way and the, the pond's doing good. So we don't want to see, uh, we don't want to see any progress, uh, our progress stopped in our fish growth. So, um, I'm going to pump in. In fact, I'm not even certain that I'll pump in both jugs of this tonight. I may pump one in, let that settle for a day or two, and then come up and pump the other one in just to be sure. Um, I don't think that putting it in a little at a time is going to hurt anything. I think the chemical will work the same way either way. It's just you've got to get enough in the soil for it to seal up the soil. So that's that's kind of our plan. So we're going to let this work for a little bit. We'll give you some updates in a little bit.
I don't want to waste it. I want to get every drop out. We got her done just before dark and we ran the pump for right at an hour which is 17,000 to 18,000 gallons um, and it said we needed 10,000 gallons to mix it with so I feel pretty confident that we did this right one of the things you'll notice, I pumped it all down on this one end because this is our deep end. Um, even right now with the water level down four feet, it's probably still about 14 feet at the deepest point. I'm 90% certain that that's where our leak is. It's down in that deepest point. They actually dug into some rock and then we covered that back over with some clay, but I did that after the company left that was working on this. I used my Kubota, put the clay back over that rock that they hit, and then I, you know, ran over it with the tractor, which wasn't enough to walk it in like it really should have been. So if I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's where it might be seeping out. But there's soil over it now, so I think we got a fighting chance of this stuff working. And I'm real happy with the way it has mostly stayed on this end i mean it's mixing in some and i'm sure it will continue to as it swirls around but for the most part you can tell most of the chemicals down here on this end which is exactly what i wanted um, i want it to settle on this end because if we got a chance of this stuff working that's what's that's what it's going to take i plan on because i'm not going to edit this video for probably a week so i plan on coming up here and getting some updates each day just um, water clarity and all of those things but uh, probably tomorrow in the daylight i'll put some sticks in the ground at the water's edge and that way we can monitor water loss um, i expect the first couple of days for us to continue to lose water like we were but hopefully after about a week it'll start holding steady okay so this is about 24 hours after our treatment that we put in the pond um, you can see there's you know maybe a little bit of cloudiness to the water um, definitely not um, it's not clearer yet but it it looks pretty evenly distributed as far as water color goes um, I don't know you know how how all that will play out um, I see a couple of fish up near the top of the water hopefully they're healthy and doing all right I I don't see any dead fish so that's a good sign that we haven't had any problems yet I was a little concerned about that just because of the way this stuff works I know that you run the risk if you put it in too thick of coating their gills and then they can't get oxygen and they suffocate and so we definitely didn't want that but like I said we kind of overdid it with the amount of water we were pushing through versus the amount of uh, product so I think it's all worked out pretty well so far I will get a few more days of updates in before we have to uh, get this video edited and get it put up so uh, we'll kind of keep you posted on how that's going I'm going to throw some fish food out then I'm gonna pull my hoses in take the pump apart and put everything on the trailer and haul it back up to the house <music> Okay, I am going to do a quick walk around the edge 
just to look for fish and kind of check things out and take note of water levels and all. Now, I'll just show you where we filled this in. This is uh, some of the residue that uh, was spilled out of the buckets and whatnot as we pumped it in. Just kind of give you an idea what that looks like. Now, I also had the bucket that I was mixing it in at the end to make sure that I got it all pumped in. There was, I mean, just a small film left in the bottom of the bucket and I'd poured water in it to kind of run and clean out my hose a little bit. So I left that in the bucket. Well, after it settled, we had this goop that looks like Elmer's glue left in the bottom of the bucket. Now I brought it over here where it's shallow, where I could see there were no fish and just poured it in just to see what it would look like and how it acted. Um, of course it started sinking pretty much. Um, but you can see it just kind of looks like goopy Elmer's glue. See where I threw the fish food out on the water. They're, they're still coming up and eating. They don't seem to be affected really. Of course you can see why I want to get the water level back up. We've got you know a lot of our rock piles and stuff now there are plenty still down in the water but just like this here this rock pile is supposed to be about three feet underwater and instead it's sitting on the dam just stick a stick in there for now right there at the edge of the water so it's just in the water and we'll check in a couple of days and see how much it's gone down all right so it's thursday evening this is day two following the uh, application of the db 110 and today it's probably just a little bit less cloudy than it was yesterday, but not much. It's still pretty cloudy. Um, got a, you know, the same green tint to the water and all that. I don't see any dead fish today. So I really think that we dodged that concern. I think we're gonna be good there um, without losing any fish. And of course you can see behind me here, they're feeding on the water. I, I put our food in and they're eating and doing good. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go over and show you the stick I stuck at the edge of the water yesterday, and I don't think we've lost any water overnight either, which may or may not mean progress. We had a little bit of rain. It was just kind of sprinkles, but it might've been enough to hold the water level steady. I doubt it. So I'm kind of hopeful that that's a good sign. We'll see. All right, so here's our stick, and I think that probably it has went down just a little bit, because I've tried to stick that right at the edge. We'll compare, because I think I took a little bit of footage of when I stuck it in. So I'll put them up side by side so we can see the difference and we'll kind of watch this over the next few days, see how it does. I think once we reach the five to seven day mark, I'm gonna stick a stick right at the water's edge because that's when it's supposed to be done settling. And then we'll start measuring and see if it's actually losing at that point. Um, right now, I wouldn't necessarily expect it to uh, be working at its full potential because it's only been a couple of days. So we'll see how it goes. All right, this is the stick on day three, and I mean, we haven't lost a half inch per day, I can say that much. I mean, we might have lost a quarter of an inch over those three days, um, and we've really not had, we've had some, some sprinkles here and there, but we've not had enough rain to really make any difference in the water level, so... There's that. And I haven't seen any dead fish yet, so that's encouraging. Now they've said that that DB-110 is a water clarifier as well. And my thoughts so far are that really I, I see very little difference in the water clarity over what it was before we applied this. Um, I don't know, maybe I should have took some specific footage, but the clarity wasn't really my concern. But I also guess that since they advertise it as a water clarifier, that there may be some people that are interested in it for that. But I'm not really seeing just a drastic difference in the clarity of the water. Well, here we are, day five, after applying the Pond Enviro DB110. From what I can visually observe, the water clarity really didn't change a whole lot. We didn't have too bad a water clarity anyway. So, you know, if you had a lot of silt and really thick mud, it probably would make a difference. But uh, as far as our situation is concerned, that's not really what we were worried about anyway. Um, we were uh, hoping to stop a, a leak or some seepage that we have going on. So that's, that's why we applied it. Now, I will say that really today should begin the day when we start measuring whether it made any difference. We placed this stick in the water the day after we put the DB110 in, just so we could kind of see how it did through the week. And I will say 
that we didn't lose as much in a week as or in in five days as we would have before but that may also be uh, uh, affected by the fact that we did have a little bit of rain we didn't have any torrential rains and runoff water coming in so i don't think it really made much difference but uh, if i was going to guess i would say over the course of those five days we probably lost about a half an inch at this point um i'm going to drive another one of these poles in here and put some marks on it and drive those down in the water so that we can monitor uh, the rise and fall of the water from here on out. And so I'll, I'll try to give uh, weekly updates in my regular videos and just kind of let you know how that's going. And then after we've had enough time to where I can really tell whether it made a difference, you know, give it a couple of months or something like that, I'll come back and I'll post a uh, summary video of what I think of the product and whether I feel like it made any difference or not. Um, at this point, I'm not convinced that I'm going to buy another $800 worth of it and pump it in here. Uh, because like I said, today is day five, which is the day when it's supposed to be settled. So we should be able to tell a difference at this point uh, from here on out. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. But uh, I really got uh, hope you guys uh, get some good out of this video and, and the videos to come on this pond project. I know this is a problem that a lot of people run into when they have ponds built, especially, you know, if you don't just have the money to haul in tons and tons of clay to pack in the bottom and all that, which, you know, most people don't. So uh, this is kind of the thing you run into when you have a pond built. And, you know, most pond builders, I mean, you're paying them by the hour to do the work. And... Uh, they have some knowledge behind it and they do what they know to do. And I feel like the guys that dug this pond, they did what they were supposed to do in terms of, you know, digging a keyway and a core trench or whatever you want to call it and, and doing the things you're supposed to do to protect the pond. But they have the soils to work with that we give them to work with. So if I didn't want to pay to have extra clay brought in to line the bottom of it, then they, what can they do? So they kind of did the best they could with what I gave them to work with. It's, it's kind of the way I feel about it. So um, I don't I don't put any of the the blame on them as far as what we're dealing with here. I kind of I kind of expected this to begin with. You know I'm I still love my pond. Uh, it's a it's a whole lot of fun. But hopefully this is going to be something that will make a difference in uh, in the product that we have for years to come. So anyway, you guys come back and check on the updates, and uh, we appreciate y'all watching. All right, so here's the plan. I got this pipe that I've marked, um, and hopefully what I can do is drive it into this zero depth, which will be our uh, the depth that we're at right now. So if it rains, it goes up. If we continue to leak, it'll be in the negative. So I'm gonna see if I can get out on those rocks out there and then get this driven down in there to where the zero meets the water line today. eight it is well so the way I set this up I was kind of expecting to have softer soil a little deeper down so I figured I could drive it further down in there than I could so I was only able to drive it down to minus eight so that'll be our starting point is minus eight <laughs> I mean it's just kind of arbitrary numbers anyway so it doesn't really matter as long as we can come up here and tell where we started and see if tomorrow it's at minus eight and a half and so on. That'll give us an idea of how it's doing. So we'll consider today, day one, and we'll start checking our progress from today. All right, be sure and check back with us. Mm -hmm.